Abraham Kizure Kindiki, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Excellencies, Mr. Speaker of the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker of the Senate, our sister, your ladyship, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, members of the judiciary, members of the executive, members of the legislature, Fellow Kenyans, Hamjambo, Hamjambo Tena, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe, Assalamu Alaikum, Ebu Munisalimia Hivyo Ewani Nione Ndugu wa Kenya. I am proud to witness the swearing in of the Honorable. Abraham Professor Kidure Kindiki as the third Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya under the 2010 Constitution. I know him as a dedicated professional whose commitment to excellence has helped us overcome daunting challenges and as a tireless public servant on the path of national leadership. Abraham is also a patriot whose dedication to cohesion, national unity, and inclusivity is beyond reproach. An effective champion of peace and stability. And across every part of our country, and a loyal steward of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda whom together with many others we crafted to take our country to the next level. Over the past two decades I have had the privilege to witness Professor Kindiki's work as a professor, litigation lawyer, consulting attorney, sen senator representing the Rakanidhi, Majority Leader of the Senate, Deputy Speaker of the Senate, the most recently as Cabinet Secretary. I can confirm that in all these roles, he has demonstrated exceptional dedication, high competence and professionalism, and consistently delivered results beyond expectations. Professor Kindiki is a highly qualified and outstanding scholar, advocate and public servant, whose career has been defined by exemplary achievements which demonstrate his vision for positive change and commitment to high standards of efficiency in the performance of his duties. At this stage of the implementation cycle of our national transformation agenda, the people of Kenya require a patriotic public servant and a consummate champion of our constitutional dispensation, our broad-based national governance framework and the bottom-up economic transformation agenda to support the cabinet and the presidency in delivering in full and on time. This moment calls for an individual who takes pride in a job well done in, and is humble enough to be a loyal servant of the people and who is selfless enough to reach out and mobilize the entirety of government towards delivering for Kenya. Experienced enough to understand the importance of engaging all sectors of our economy to drive transformation and committed enough to serve professionally with loyalty and most importantly, with integrity. I am delighted to affirm that our coalition, and indeed our nation, is blessed with many professionals who meet all these criteria. Among them, 
Abraham Kituray Kindiki stands out for his exceptional qualifications, extensive experience, and wide-ranging accomplishments. I am honored that he is available. He has told me he is ready, and I know he is willing to serve as my deputy. Professor, my young brother, let me call you Abraham K. or Abra K. Welcome to the service of this great nation, Kenya. And let me say this, I have heard you clearly when you took your oath of office and the oath for the due execution of your responsibilities as Deputy President. You have said two fundamental things in your oath. Kenyans were listening, I too was listening. You said that you will serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. Abrake, please, serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. As I told our principal secretaries, as I told our cabinet secretaries, and as I tell every public servant who has a responsibility, who has a duty,